What's up guys, in preparation for grouper season, I wanted to do another video on the best grouper rigs for any experience level. My snapper rig video actually is doing really well, so I wanted to follow up and let you guys know what rigs we use specifically for grouper to help you guys out in the upcoming grouper season. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty guys, so first things first, these weights and lines are for demonstration purposes only. Obviously this isn't the exact line that we are using when targeting grouper, but for visual purposes, I just wanted to tie these to show you guys what we use for our grouper rigs. And starting off the easiest rig by far is none other than the good old knocker rig. It is just a simple, three to six aughts weight depending upon your depth and current on the main line tied to a seven to nine aught circle hook it's a super easy rig one of the easiest rigs that you will ever use one of the reasons why i like it so much and what's nice about this rig is when you are dropping your bait down to the bottom because the weight is so close to the hook it's going to pull that bait down to the bottom really easy as it sinks down you're going to have not that much line coming up with the opportunity to wrap around itself another good thing is as that weight is sitting on the bottom as soon as a fish bites your bait you're going to feel that because it's going to be connected directly to your main line so you're going to have some awesome sensitivity and as soon as that grouper picks up that bait you're going to feel it that's when you can reel set the hook and then it is game on now one of the negatives about the knocker rig is the fact that a lot of times if you get broken off it's actually going to be up here really close to the hook and what happens is you're not only going to lose your hook of course but you're going to lose your sinker and depending upon how many sinkers you have that can become really expensive really quick and it's just aggravating having to tie on not only a hook but another sinker on your rig so that is a con of the knocker rig also when that weight is on the bottom if you are picking up that weight as you are bouncing along the bottom or as you are drifting or as the boat is rocking back and forth you know that puff of dirt or sound knocking against the bottom could potentially scare away predators so just something to keep in mind okay next we have the rig we probably use the least but it is one of the most popular rigs and that is none other than your traditional fish finder rig all it is is a seven to nine aught hook tied to anywhere from 50 to 100 pound liter depending upon the size of gags that you are targeting along with the structure that you're fishing to a barrel swivel and then obviously you have your weight above that barrel swivel and then you have your main line and or your shock leader that is attached to your braid via an fg knot now one of the nice things about the fish finder rig is the fact that if you do get broken off it's most likely going to be in this area of your rig and what that means is you're not going to lose your sinker and typically you're not going to lose your swivel either you're going to lose your hook and this part of leader is probably going to be cut anywhere uh, from the all the way to the hook up to your swivel depending upon how heavy of structure you're fishing now normally i like to put on anywhere from like a two to three foot leader some people go longer it's just kind of up to your personal preference i really haven't seen a benefit of a super long leader or a shorter leader just kind of what works best for you one of the cons of this fish finder rig is as your bait is getting pulled down to the bottom what's going to happen is depending upon the current and depending on how your bait is rigged up this weight is going to be pulling the rig down just like this so it's going to be going down to the bottom like that and this particular part of the rig has the opportunity to get tangled upon around your main line and that can cause problems because one the fish aren't going to think that it's very natural looking and then two if it gets tangled really bad whenever you pull up your bait it's just going to be really difficult to untangle it especially if you are dealing with braided line and some thinner fluorocarbon and monofilament stuff like that however one of the reasons why we like this rig so much is because whenever you do get broken off it's typically going to be below the swivel so you don't have to keep tying on a weight and another swivel you typically can just either tie on a new hook or just cut off the rig right here 
and then re-rig. Another thing is because this weight is away from the hook, it's a very natural looking presentation when you are targeting grouper and other bottom species. It's just a hook in your bait attached to a very long leader. So whenever that bait is swimming freely, it looks very natural and similar to the knocker rig, whenever it pulls or whenever your bait gets hit, you're gonna have this slip sinker here. So you're able to feel that bait get taken from the grouper or whatever bottom species that you're fishing. And then you just reel and you set the hook. Now, lastly, and probably the rig that we use most often is actually very similar to the fish finder rig. And all it is, is a fish finder rig, but instead of just a normal swivel, what we have is a snap swivel here tied below the weight. And what this does is it allows us to make a bunch of rigs like this, which is just a hook, leader, and swivel. And that way, if we do get cut off, all we have to do is take this snap swivel off. Okay, you grab another rig that you already have pre-made and then you just attach it to your snap swivel. And then you're back to fishing. You don't have to retie. You don't have to spend a lot of time prepping your rig back up. You just unsnap, snap, and you're back to fishing. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna say, well, by putting these two swivels, you are potentially increasing the chances of a breakage at either one of these. However, we have yet to break one of the snap swivels. Typically when we get broken off, it is going to be below this swivel. So you basically just lose a hook and a little bit of the leader. What we do is we will just unsnap this swivel. We will cut off right here, put the swivel in our pocket or in a little cup holder. That way we can use these in the future and then tie on another rig or snap on another rig in this case, and we are back to fishing. Super easy, super quick, and if you prepare your rigs ahead of time, it is super easy to just tie on, and you are good to go. So I hope you guys did like that short little video on the rigs that we use for grouper. They're really easy. If you have any questions about any of the rigs that we use, leave those down in the comments below. I will leave links down in the description below to all of the terminal tackle that we use for our grouper rigs. That way, if you want to make them as easy as we do, you can do that. And if you want to see more content like this, how to's, tips and tricks, things like that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until the next video, I hope you're able to get out on the water and catch some fish.